Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. I have another uh, Caribbean style jerk sauce to review for you guys today. And this one was sent to me from Terry Barron of Barron's International Kitchen. And this is her Caribbean marinade hot jerk sauce, a taste of the Caribbean produced locally in New York. And it says right here, make an authentic international meal tonight. And on her website, it says that uh, she's always enjoyed a wide variety of interesting, savory, and great-tasting ethnic foods that have been uh, produced from recipes of relatives and close family friends uh, down for generations. And after many years of making these recipes at home, they decided to start their own business, producing and selling a line of gourmet sauces and condiments. So... Barron's International Kitchen was started in 2003 and is currently based in Ulster County, New York, in the heart of the beautiful Hudson Valley. And they produce all of their products locally and whenever possible they use local ingredients uh, from farms around the Hudson Valley. So uh, I just love a really good uh, Caribbean style jerk marinade. Uh, just love the spices that are usually in these type of sauces. And so let me go ahead and read the side of the bottle on this one. It says about or our gourmet sauce. This award-winning sauce was inspired by Sonny, an, an Antiguan chef, and draws upon the traditional Carib Indian technique of jerk to create a sauce influenced with authentic island flavors. We produce our products locally in New York using ingredients from local farms whenever possible. Enjoy Terry. All right, uh, sodium is very low uh, for a marinade to, uh, like this it's only 90 milligrams and the ingredients we start off with onions white vinegar habanero peppers soy sauce brown sugar garlic teriyaki sauce and i won't read what all's in that and then we got olive oil thyme cinnamon cloves sesame seeds white pepper and black pepper um, now i've used quite a bit of this already because i've used it to grill up some um chicken thighs, and with some yellow rice and some pigeon peas. This is a great uh, Caribbean-style meal right here, guys. But uh, the consistency, as you can see, is really thick and chunky. I like it. You can really see the, uh, the consistency of the sauce. And the aroma, wow, you can really smell the cinnamon, the cloves, uh, the onions are coming through. So the spices are really coming up from the bottom, the thyme the cinnamon, the cloves. It's got kind of a nice sweet smell to it. You can kind of pick up on the soy sauce and the teriyaki sauce that's in here. So it's one of those sauces or marinades that's made with other sauces, which is which is fine. But uh, onions, garlic a little bit, but uh, really you can smell those spices, which I really love. So let's check this out on a spoon for you guys. And just love how this is nice and thick and chunky, just really all natural looking. I mean, check out, check that out. All right, here we go for a little spoon test. Mmm. It's not all pureed up. <coughs> Excuse me, it's not all pureed up. You've got a lot of chunks in there to chew on. Just a fantastic flavor. Awesome. You get a little bit of immediate burn from the habanero peppers in here. You know that they're they're up front. I mean, it's really only the uh, third ingredients after onion and white vinegar, but just a really great flavor. You can chew on the onions. You can taste the garlic. You can taste all those spices and the peppers as well. <clears throat> so this has really got an excellent flavor on it. Really great stuff. So let's check this out on some chicken. And what I did is I marinated this. They've got a recipe right here on the bottle for how to make Antiguan jerk chicken wings. The longer you marinate this stuff, the hotter it gets. Now, this happens to be uh, their hot jerk sauce. They do have a mild one. But I'm going to put just a little bit more on this jerk or the chicken thigh here. Just really, really good stuff, guys. Just love this kind of stuff. This also would be excellent on pork. But here we go. Mmm. Mm. Fantastic flavor. <clears throat> this one has got just the right amount of spices. It doesn't overdo it on the spices, and it's got a nice burn to it. But on flavor, 
This stuff, guys, is highly recommended. I would give this a 9 out of 10 for uh, flavor. And on heat, um, it's got a pretty good medium habanero burn on it. So I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. It's got a really good all-over habanero burn. So definitely 5 out of 10. But great stuff. You can check them out on Facebook at Barron's International Kitchen. And their website is Barron's internationalkitchen.com. I'll put the link in the description. So please check them out. I'll be reviewing their Caribbean hot sauce as well, um, as well on a separate review. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Terry, thank you very much for sending it. I really do appreciate it. Everybody, thanks for watching. And until the next time, don't forget, enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.